All right, Shalom Israel. Once again, it's the Brother Kalab, our on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, and teaching repentance to the house of Israel, which consists of you so called African Americans, Hispanic, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, uh, we have been ordained by the Heavenly Father to come out and prophesy against uh, Babylon the Great, which is spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, which is known as America, and to, and to teach repentance and to sound the alarm to you Israelites, okay, the true biblical Israelites. Yahweh Shemeshai has given us the vision, okay, and he has uh, given us insight, and we are coming back to our heritage uh, that we've been stripped of, okay, uh, by this uh, false Christianity, by the teachings uh, and the doctrines of the so-called white man, we've been uh, removed from our heritage as a form of punishment, but now in the latter times, we're coming back to the knowledge of self and who we are, and we, uh, and we have, and we understand that there, there's a great judgment come upon the earth, okay? Before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Ka'ala Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of the great millstone and Charles is truth and who rule well. And I want to send a humble citation to the whole elect, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. And we're, very, we're getting very close to the end, okay? If you bear with me, that's why they will behoove you to seek the heavenly father. Okay, I don't want to all grab a scripture there, but we're we're in the red. We're on high tide as the scriptures, as the scriptures uh, per, uh, prescribe, right? Romans chapter 13 and 11 says, and knowing that the time that is now, that it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is sending back uh, the only begotten son, uh, ignorantly known as uh, Christ, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, which is his true name, he's coming back to crack these clouds and to deliver the remnant of the nation of Israel. Because they've been promised a kingdom. Promises were made unto our, our unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is remembering us in these times. Okay, because uh, because if Yahweh Bashim Yahshai doesn't come back and gets his elect, uh, it says the scriptures say, no flesh shall be saved. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is not a man that he should lie, so therefore he has to fulfill uh, what is what he has commanded okay if you bear with me here chapter 4 and 1 this is what we're commanded to do uh, verse 1 says Baruch chapter 4 from the top says this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endures forever and all that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die so this is what we're out here bidding our people to repent to turn back to the heavenly father and what I wanted to outline I don't want to say I will uh, you know we're the nation that matches the, uh, the curses right as one of the brothers was saying, we're the lost sheep of Israel, and we will be remembering ourselves in these in these times. If we're if we're remembering ourselves, that means it's because we lost our way. Okay, we lost uh, the things that gave us life, that were um, cognizant to life, which is the statues, statues, uh, statues, laws, and commandments, or our what were our part of our heritage. But we uh, we backslid and we stepped away, and now we're in the uh, condition that we're in. We've been uh, we've been made a reproach and a proverb here in Babylon the Great. But like I said, uh, our Lord and Savior Hamashiach Yahushai, the one that died on the cross for the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel, he's coming. He's coming back to justify uh, his children, Salakia, the Heavenly Father's children, which is the, the remnant of the elect. Moreover, uh, Baruch chapter four and two says, "Turn ye, O Jacob." Jacob is synonymous for the nation of Israel. Take hold of it, walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Verse 3. Give not thy honor to another. And see, this this, this is what the, uh, Satan, right? Ultimately, the physical embodiment of Satan, along with the key of the nations, and they want to keep us away from our glory. But we're supposed to earnestly contend, you know, uh, 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 for, for our law, for our position, right? Through the Spirit. Verse 3 says, Give not thy honor to another, nor give the things that are profit profitable unto thee, to a strange nation, okay? And these strange, strange nations have, uh, they have taken league with, uh, they have taken league with, with one another to keep us in the condition that, that we are, okay? These nations have then been profitable for us, but now in the latter times, we're coming back, uh, the scriptures say, uh, 
Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if there's a Yabashi you know, shot it's still with me. Isaiah chapter 10. Woo! Isaiah chapter 10 and 20 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such shall escape to the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smoked him. But they shall stay upon the Ottoman, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. And that's that's what we see. And, and there's a scripture that says, in that time, the house of Israel and the house of uh, Jacob would come seek, uh, would come weeping, seeking the Heavenly Father. And that's what we're doing because we, we identified ourselves. We identified our transgression. See, uh, our, our nation, they get in a spirit of, uh, let's go against the government. Let's rebel. Let's form, let's form, let's form, let's form bands and... And, and we think we're going to come together in a carnal means, but it's a spiritual thing, okay? Until we come back to the Heavenly Father and, and, and submit ourselves to those law, statutes, and commandments and the, and the Heavenly Father's ways, keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father, then that's how we come back to fruition. We come back as being whole, but us being a, a rebellious and contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father, we fell to these other nations. And, but Yahweh Bashim is remembering the souls of the just that cry continuously right before the throne of the Heavenly Father. And he's, he's getting ready to make amends with us. He's getting ready to, uh, uh, you know, who shall be moaning, right? So Yahweh Bashim is having pity for us in these latter times. And he's getting ready to, uh, to, uh, to look upon us again once more, right? As the remnant of the elect cleans themselves up, hearken to the Heavenly Father. Isaiah chapter 10. And 20, it says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the remnant of Israel and such that are escaped to the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Ottawa the Holy One of Israel in truth. Verse 21 says, The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, until the mighty Yahweh. Verse 22 says, For though my people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. And that's, that's, that's the remnant the elect. We're returning back to the ways of the Heavenly Father. We're seeking and crying to the Heavenly Father ten times more. For thou, my people Israel, be as a sand of the sea, yet a remnant, and there shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. For the auto on your auto on your house host shall make a consumption decree, even determined in the midst of the land. Therefore, thus saith the house of the host, my people that dwells to Zion, be not afraid of the Syrian. And that's the spirit, the elect, um, those men that aren't compromised. Hey, we lost all fear. And that's the spirit because I got a roller right here that's passing by, but we're not moved. Yahweh Bashim has taken that fear off of his elect, and we're doing as commanded to the Heavenly Father. We, we're keeping ourselves, we're showing ourselves men before the, before the throne of the Heavenly Father. And the scripture shows us and tells us and outlines what it is to be a man. All right? Not to mention, it says, He that keep the commandments shall feel no evil thing. First Kings chapter, I'm going to grab, grab it here. I just seen 144. Okay, this. I Second Kings. Second Kings. Beautiful. First Kings chapter two and one. This is a this is what it's to be a man before the heavenly Father. Okay, it says First Kings chapter two and one says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the ways of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. What is to show thyself a man? Verse three says, it says and keep the charge of ya, of the Adawan thy power to walk in his ways to keep the statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. Which Moses was uh, gave us the law of the sprinkling of the blood upon the, upon the children of Israel, okay? That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and will serve it that thou turnest thyself. And the Ottawa may continue his word, which he spoke concerning, saying, if thy children take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth all the heart, and with all, it says, with all their heart and with all their souls, there shall not fall, fall thee. Said he, a man on the throne of Israel, the Wadi Abba Shimel Shai. So that's how we come back to our excellency. That's how we come back into our regal estate, okay, by keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father. But we suffered, we suffered uh, these afflictions and these, we suffered afflictions uh, 
throughout our generations with the numerous captivities and punishments from the Heavenly Father because we forsook the warnings of the Heavenly Father. We transgressed and we gave our, our people, gave ourselves uh, one way, one fashion or another, gave themselves to idols, transgressed the laws of the Heavenly Father, uh, and, and we're disobedient. So this is why this ultimately is a story of uh, before we receive the promise, before we receive a kingdom, we had to learn the bad to be able to appreciate the good, okay? This is a story, this is a story of our transgression. Baruch chapter 3 and 2 says, Behold, we are yet to stay in our captivity, for thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments. Hey, I just spent fucking like $900 on some bush house like my whole check. I bought groceries and I put tires on my whip. And then I still got to pay more shit, you know, child support, bills, energy, gas, you know, I, you know, we're, we're, we're consumed here in Babylon the Great and we need our own sovereignty. We need our own government. We need our own righteous laws. That's why Yahweh Hashem HaShai, he's going to have mercy upon us because we're the souls of the just that cry uh, before the Heavenly Father continuously. And why and what else? We're keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father. By standing here, showing our shows our man, by standing standing before those that have afflicted us and made no accounts of our labor. Okay, they, they shall be in fear, roughly paraphrased. That's what's going on here. Baruch chapter 3 and 8 says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Adawan, your, your power. This is what we need to do as a nation to be to be healed from, from and to be to be redeemed back to our estate. Okay? Baruch chapter 3 and 9 says, Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Life, Salakia, give ear to understand wisdom. And see, this is uh, this is this is explaining the condition that we, we fall in. Our people are reprobates. You know? They lost their way. Baruch chapter 3. And ten says, How it happened, O Israel, that thou in thy enemy's land, that thou art walking old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. And these people, this is going into the. Uh, we can correlate this one with the uh, uh, the valley, the val, uh, so lucky, the valley of dry bones. Our people are in a dead estate. Why? Because they don't have the commandments of life. They don't know the heavenly Father. They've been stripped of all all things that are conducive to life. Which is a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father and His purposes and thoughts and intents. Okay? We, we are dead in the state and we, we're going to be consumed because Babylon the Great, which is America, only sells a death lifestyle. So if, so if the Heavenly Father doesn't come back and remember the souls of the just, remember the promises that He gave unto our forefathers, it says that no flesh shall be saved. You know, that's the understanding. Baruch chapter... Three and ten. How it happened, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land, that thou walks waxing old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead, that thou art counted with them that go down to the grave. Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom, which is a fear. Uh, you know, this says the beginning of uh, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the art of one. Verse thirteen. For if thou hadst walked in the way of Yahweh, thou shouldst have dwelt in peace. Learn where is wisdom, where is strength. And, and that's where strength lies in and keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father through the Spirit. If you bear with me here. I believe I got something. I should have grabbed that one, but uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is what uh this this is this is us coming. If we was to hearken to the Heavenly Father, we would be in our regal estate. And our righteous law, that prophecy will be fulfilled. Through the, uh, through the reign of the elect, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 says, And there shall come to pass, and thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Ottawa on thy power, to observe and to do all his commandment, which I command thee this day, that the Ottawa on thy power will set thee on high above all nations. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Ottawa on thy power. Okay? And so that was that was a commandment given to our people in the fourth time, but this shows us what we, this is the the disobedience, the outcome of being diso, uh, disobedient to the heavenly Father, okay? Because we were given the law, statutes, and commands, we were given the way to live, and our people has fallen away from that, okay? Deuteronomy chapter twenty and fifteen says, "But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Adam on thy power 
to observe it, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's how we are able to identify us of who we are as a nation, which is the nation of Israel. And we're the for God. We're the we're we're the we've been di uh, diminished. We have been de uh, demised. We have been spoiled. Our people are polluted. Our people have lost their way. But yet we're supposed to be the excellency of the earth. Okay. Cursed thou shalt be in the city. Cursed thou shalt be in the field. Cursed thou shalt curse. Cursed shall be thy bank. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Well, jumping up to 33, and this is what happened to uh, several captivities of our nation. It says, Thy sons and daughters shall be given unto another, and the eyes shall look and fall with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be, it says, there shall be no might in thy hand. Jumping over to 48, locked in 43. And, and another way to, uh, us to identify that we're the nation of Israel, right? Because uh, these nations take lead against each other and I don't want to stop going that but like you see a Moabite which is a so-called Chinese a Arab nation a so -called, uh, Arab nation they come to America yeah we've been here all all generations right yeah we live in the projects and the barrios but these nations right they got they get very high above us Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 43 says the stranger that is within thee shall get up above very high and thou shalt come down very low he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. That's thus being subject to payments. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou, thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Adawan Yahweh to keep his commandment and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That's, that's, that's how we became what we are today, which is in a very afflicted state, in a very low state. But the healing, the medicine is to return back to the Heavenly Father. And all these blessings will come upon us as the scripture prescribes. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 47. Because thou servest not the Adawan, thy power. And that's why the Yahweh Shemashai is only dealing with his elect. Because we are those ones. That's why Yahweh Shemashai is going to redeem his elect. Because all the other Israelites, um, they're not they're not created to serve the Heavenly Father. But they've been created as vessels for fitted for destruction. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 48 says, Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Adwan shall stand against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. So that's exactly what happened to our people. So for African Americans, so for Native Americans and indigenous peoples, that's what we received at the hands of our enemies. That says, The Adwan shall bring na nation against thee from afar. That's, that's what happened to God. No, uh, they they're doing they, they're doing pretty good here in the Americas till the so-called white man came, and that ultimately was a curse from the heavenly Father. The Ottoman shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, and swift and swift as a eagle flight. The nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. That's that bastard Esau. What about you not shot? I want to all get to outline some of those things, uh, some of those identifiers. Who as is Esau, which is the so-called white man? So we're commanded. The scriptures say our weapons, our weapons, our war, our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Uh, so like, let me see if I can find that. Our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but strong. Uh, it says, but strong. Uh, I believe it's that Second Corinthians chapter ten. I don't want to talk. <laughs> so we're in a spiritual battle for our heritage, for our, for our excellency. And the way we come back, come back to it, to it, is seeking the heavenly Father and hearkening to His ways. Okay, and the remnant and elect has been deemed from the foundations of the earth to do so. If you bear with me here. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh and pulling down the strongholds. And through the truth, the doctrine of Hamashat Yashat, we're unveiling the lies and the deception that our people have been consumed with false Christianity by Jesus. You know, we're ultimately uh, tearing away that veil, that lie that's been put up before us. And now we're coming back to the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. So this 
this war that we're in, where you it's, it's through this through this uh, speaking and the and the pushing of the gospel um, of the uh, of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, for our weapons are war for our not carnal, mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. <coughs> Keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father. Seeking the Heavenly Father. Talking to the ways of the Heavenly Father and doing as commanded. Okay? Holding out fast that wish that has. And what do we have? That's Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. <coughs> so this preaching of the word <coughs> ultimately bring it, bring it us to a kingdom and it says that this the kingdom is the king the kingdom is within us okay we are the kingdom we're just speaking into existence and the, and as we preach the word uh as we preach the gospel of the kingdom the correlation of the, us bringing out the word is a direct effect of america circling the drain babylon the great falling to the spirit So we've been commanded to, set, uh, to suffer to suffer this affliction, not take this uh, into our own hands and, and by carnal means, okay? Because our warfare is spiritual. Spiritual by us going back to the Heavenly Father, attaining that blessing, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and therefore we can fight. And the scriptures say, thanks be the Ottoman who, who teaches my hands to war, which is spiritual, which is which is teaches our teaches our, our minds, our spirit to fight. How do we fight? By unveiling, right? Uh, by unveiling with the truth uh, the lies and deceptions of Esau and Edom and that means that is heavy because we are the, the true spiritual combatants uh, of the new world order of these of these wicked elite we're the only threat to them us coming back to fruition us coming back to the knowledge of self because within that that's how we destroy the enemy all right Baruch Baruch chapter 25 so I'll get 4 and 25 says my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt be, but thou shalt surely, it says, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. And that's the that's the blessing of the Heavenly Father. He's gonna let us get our lick back. He's gonna allow us to tread upon the necks of our enemies, okay, to Adiabashim al Shai, that they, they form leagues against us to this day. That's why Jake, that's why Jake is the first one fire. Uh, First one fired, last one hired. We get paid, we get paid the worst wages, right? We get told the most lies. We get afflicted. They put, they put all the drugs in the in the hood, in the barrios. They put Planned Parenthood in your neighborhoods. They put liquor stores and poisons to kill you off. Okay, this goddamn devil, along with these other nations, they're dead set. To keep, they're dead set on keeping us in a low state because they understand that once we make amends with the Heavenly Father, and we'll come back in our righteous law. And guess what? We're gonna be treading upon their necks, and that's what these uh, nations fear. Okay, Baruch chapter 3 and 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways. Who's the Heavenly Father's delicate ones? The nation of Israel. We've gone rough ways through transatlantic slave trade, through uh, the genocide of the, uh, the so called, uh, so I the genocide uh, of the Native American Indians. We've been all, we've been plagued with destruction of our people. Which, who's our people? The Heavenly Father's people. The, 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 the children of Israel, the so-called African Americans, Hispanics, Latinos, the Americans, that's who the children of Israel are. Those are the ones that Yahweh Hashem is going to redeem. But within that, there's the elect, the 144,000, which I'll go into that. But, Yahweh, but all the other nations, you know what the, all the other nations have done to us as a people? So can I ask you, what is your, um, what is your nationality? Mexican. Are you Mexican? Yes. I'm Mexican as well. So you would be from the tribe according to the spirit. You are here and according to the spirit. See, our people, because you see, you see, you understand the story of the Americas. You understand the story of the colonization. How they pushed us. They forced, they beat Christianity into our people. You understand that part, right? When they came with the, the Spaniards, they came to the Americas. They beat the Native Americans. They beat the Mexicans. They beat uh, the farmers. The, the You know, the, the, the original indigenous peoples of America. Which would be McDonald's, which would be Native Americans, they beat their false religion into us. They took away our God, they gave us a false God, but through the Spirit, we're, we're the one, and that's what the scriptures speak about. That 
we would go through this tra we would go through this because uh, we forsook the heavenly father's way we, the nation of Israel was given the commandments to keep the laws and the statutes of the heavenly father but we forsook them we gave it we gave it to idolatry we gave it to uh, other, other gods that didn't pertain to our nation and that's why the most high which is in the Hebrew that's our language back to the knowledge of what we, what we need to do as a people to be put back in our state that um, that um, that God promised well, you hear uh, you know the promises of Abraham Isaac and Jacob right he promised uh, the birthright to, uh, to Jacob which is synonymous with the, for the, for the nation of Israel the true nation not see those people in that land those are just imposters. The, uh, they, they just went over there from Poland, from Europe, to get into that land to get the petroleum. But since we are in a dead state, which goes into the dry bones, uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, we were stripped from our knowledge. And these, these nations, let me get back to that one that I wanted to show you. These nations, they seen that it was convenient for us to not know who our God was, right? Us Israelites. The real Israelites, it was convenient for them for us not to know our, our nationality because them nations would be over us. And that's what you see to this day. A Mexicano will be here in the United States for 10, 15, 20 generations. Generations. Grandma, grandpa, daddy, Nina, Tata, nephew, everything, right? And then and then and then an Ara and a Chinese they come to this land and within four, three, four, five years they got businesses. They're 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 going and going and going and, and they're getting better. And guess what, people? We can't stay out the fucking wherefore line. We can't stay off the drugs. We can't. We can't come into. We don't have. We don't even have a god. The Chinese, they pray to their god. They're allowed to worship their god, right? They got Buddha, the Arabs. They got. They're allowed to worship their uh, their temples, their Allah, their whatever, whatever. But but what, what do we do as Mexicans, Native Americans, so called African Americans? Who do we go bow down to? We bow down to the same man that put all that punishment, and all that treacherous thing. Uh, treasures, we go bow down to the so-called white Jesus. That's why we know that's, that there has to be a correlation right there. The same people that committed crimes against us gave us slavery, raped Robert Cruz in America, put you on plantations, put you on a mission, raped your women, made you work the lands, made you bow down to a white Jesus. Yet our people, we still don't have a bow. So how about she not try to get raped and come back and to restore his people He's, he's having mercy on, he's really getting what it is, is he's having mercy on the nation of Israel. Let, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, he's exact. And his name is Yahweh Shai. Let, let me read something to you real quick, brother. Sister, you look nice. How you doing? Amen. You bear with me here. Uh, Amen. It's getting a little dark here. Okay. See, okay. This is this is what these nations have done to us. It'll tell you right here. It's gonna tell you what these nations have done to us and how it's destroyed us. Psalms chapter one and two says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Ottawan, against his anointed saying, the kings of the earth, right? Obviously, the Mexicans, us, maybe the, maybe the, the top governments, uh, uh, certain ones, presidents, they can be considered kings, but us in our lower states in America, hey, the kings of the earth is the Chinese, the Arabs, the so-called white man. Why? Because they rule everything. It says, the kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his, his anointed saint. Meaning, they're saying, let's, 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 let's just keep them in the dark about who they are, which is, which is uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. Let us break their paths asunder and cast away their courts. That means everything that's profitable to them, uh, their power, which is their God. Let us, let us cast it away, keep it in the dark. Let us break their paths asunder and cast away their courts from us. He that sit, and then so now goes back to the heavenly Father. As they're thinking that in their pride, it says, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision because in these latter times, Yahweh is going to. Uh, 
take that power away, I, I would basically, basically he's going to say he's going to take that power away from these nations. He's going to put us on hot. If you see in Russia and Ukraine, you see, you see Russia, you see that BRICS, you heard about the BRICS nation? No. You see, okay, everybody is turning all the countries right now, all the countries are turning away from America. They're taking lead against her. So that's why you have Brazil, you have Russia, you have Iran, you have China. They're forming their own. You know how uh, the Western world, they have the UN? The United Nations. So yes. these these are forming the British nation. And then so you have the UN and you have the British nation. And that's part of Russia. Russia is at, uh, China and Russia at the top of that, 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 that lead. So what they're doing, uh, they think that uh, one, you know, either the UN we're going to stay in power, right? America we're going to stay in power, or no, Russia and China we're going to stay in power. But see, it says, so he that sits in the heavens shall laugh, the other one shall take have them in derision. He's going to have all these nations in derision. It says, they shall speak unto them, he shall speak to them in his wrath and vex him with the shortest pressure. And then jumping up, up to one says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine the main thing? They're imagining the main thing because they think that through their war, through their military efforts, through their fighting the war, that they're going to be in power. But according to the scriptures, the only nation that's going to come into power and it's going to remain in power is a nation of heavenly father, which is a nation of Israel. A true nation. Psalms chapter 2 and 7, it says, Yet I have set my king upon the holy hill Zion, where since I will declare a decree, the Adon has said unto me, Thou art my sons this day, have I begotten thee? Verse 8, and this is now this is us coming back to our knowledge. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen for that inheritance. We're gonna possess these nations that have made those bads to keep us out to keep us out of power, which is which is through the, through the hand of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for that inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for the possession. Amen. Thank We're gonna possess them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Says, Thou shalt break Jesus. them. Yes, sir. You should say thank you, Yahweh Shai, because that, that's more that's more that's that's more correct. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron, thou shalt dash them into peace as the potter's vessel. Be thou wise, O ye kings, and be instructed of the judges of the earth. So hey, that's like, hey, you know, how about Shimon Shai is giving the giving the warning, giving the decree. Serve the Ottoman with fear and rejoice and trembling. Okay, and that's uh, that's gonna be the standard of the world. Uh, we're going to do the excellency of the world, and we're going to come back into power. Start, starting with Jesus. Starting back with Jesus. Jesus. That's the name Jesus, brother. Translated by that's the uh, that's the uh, to translate Jesus in the Hebrew, which was our original tongue, is to have a child. And that's that's what the the, the Lord. That's what He preaches. Coming back, and that shows that we're coming back to the heavenly Father to find Himself, because that's what He wants. Amen. That's what he wants. Amen. 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 That's mercy. It's him showing himself. Uh, showing himself. Check this out. That's why you know, we see the church. We both sides. We both tribes. We both tribes. Now, this is not false. And you know the lamb is representative for, for Christ, right? On Mount Zion, and with them 144,000, having the Father's name great in their foreheads. It's a spiritual, but spiritual blessing, right? But 144,000 means 12,000. 12,000 men for each. What's 12,000 times 12,000? 144,000. That's going to be. That's going to be the new government that's going to be ruling the earth in righteousness, and who do we have to thank? Our God, our God, y'all about to say, hey, we're not, we're not going to feel Thank no, beautiful, exactly, we're not going to feel no pain, we're not going to suffer afflictions, our people are not going to be on drugs, uh, uh, we're going to be made uh, the, the example, the, the model, the model of righteousness, the model of righteousness, and it's going to be shown before all the world. And that's that's a that's a great mercy. Amen. Like, Thank, you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation chapter two, uh, or fourteen and two says, and I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and the voice of a great thunder, and I heard a voice of harpers harping with their arms, and they sung, and they sang as it were a new song for the throne, 
and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man can learn that song with the 144 thugs, which that represents the, the that we're understanding what what how about the the intention of how about Shino Shai. We're singing a new song because uh, our people uh, we're singing. what we did to fall away from the Heavenly Father uh, and, we're, and we're seeking the Heavenly Father ten times more and by us prophesying and pushing the doctrine of, of our Lord and Savior come on Shad down with Shad, right, which is ignorant of so-called Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank uh, you. That's, that's pleasing and that's why he's going to, uh, he's going to deliver us. Amen. That's why he's going to come here. He's going to come out with a stretched out arm and to deliver his, his children. Amen. Yes, thank you. you. Israel. Let me drive it for you right here. Second answer to right here. It says, and, and thank you because you know what? You're helping me right now. And that's that's Amen. great. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're working together. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And the scripture says we're, uh, we're, we're two or more gathered. There's a spirit. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you, yes, sir. Jesus. Thank you. the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Amen. And that's how we know this. That's how we thank know. Thank you, Jesus. Tell you more hallelujahs. Beautiful. You are great king, king, king. This is what we've been commanded to do. Second Ezra's chapter 9. That's like the first uh, second Ezra chapter 15. And, and once and behold, thou speak out in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I'll put in thy mouth, say to the one, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And you know what? You posing a real good uh spirit because most of the people uh they'll deny us or they ultimately get mad. They don't want to hear this righteousness, but it says, but it's a work of to fear not the imagination against them. Let the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against it, because most of our people, they're against their enemies of the cross. They're against the will of the Heavenly Father, right? But look what, what it means. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die on their unfaithfulness. It says, behold, say the out of all were placed upon the world with sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceeded, polluted the whole earth, and the whole thing works like the fruit. Meaning, we're in a time where the wickedness of the earth is, is just gone exceedingly past, you know, past, you know, it's gone so far that the most like now, he's now ready to bring forth all the plagues, to bring forth all the prophecies, to ultimately bring, and I'll go into that, to bring this place down. It says, Behold, say to Adawan, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceeded polluted the whole earth, and the earth of those are fulfilled. Therefore, save the Lord. I will go my way, and the Lord hath touched in their wickedness, which they can commit, neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. And behold, the innocent and the righteous blood, I don't know if it's all that's us. It says, it says, it says, it says, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the soul for the just proclaim the wickedness. Because according to his promises, uh, we, we seek new heavens that go with righteousness, right? You can understand here, here in America and throughout the world, uh, evil is consumed with people. Uh, lust, greed, idolatry, murder, drug use, drunkenness, uh, all uh, witchcraft, all forms of evil, uh, homosexuality, even homosexuality. That, that's a major, major, major offense. Uh, like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, uh, you see it more and more these days that you know, a, a, a king can change his sexuality. Uh, a woman can lie down with multiple men that she's not front upon. It's, it's, it's exalted. Yes, it is. And so that's why you know how much I is that he's, he's ready to, to bring this thing and not. Because he gave the promises unto our forefathers, as I was going to, as we came in, he gave into the promises unto our forefathers to give us uh, a place that dwells with righteousness. And the scriptures say here, the scripture said to prophesy. Which is sown, so is it, if there that which is sown not be turned down? So this is talking about the evil that's sown here and uh, here in the world, and moreover Babylon the Great, which is America. It says, and because America is at the forefront, and when I say the world, or Babylon the Great, or America, because America is is uh, supreme. Uh, how would I say supreme guilty of, of this fornication? Because why? Because if you just look at it, you see like over there in Uganda or in India or in the Middle East. The, the, the philosophy of America, they 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 uh they reject it. They reject it because what does it teach? It says America. Oh, your wife, uh, wife, 
you can cheat on you, it's okay. Your wife, your, your, your women, they can dress like boys, right? Uh, the men, uh, it's backwards. Uh, the men, they, you know, uh, leave them, uh, it's uh, same-sex marriage, it's okay. You want to worship the devil? That's okay. Everything America allows is contrary to the heavenly father. So that's where the evil is so. It says, Second Henry chapter 4 and 29, it says, If there that which, which is so, be not turned upside down, for the place where the evil is, is allowed, right? If it's not turned upside down, and that, and if that place that the evil is sown passed not away, then cannot come that is sown with good, which is the kingdom of, of the heavenly father, which is the kingdom for the nation of Israel. And that's where everything's going to be going on with righteousness. So, so that's what that's what we're looking to the remnant, the elect, the, those being righteous in the sight of the heavenly father. We're, this is what we're hasting. We're hasting for this. Second Peter chapter 3 and 12 says, looking for and hasting unto the coming day of God. And that's that's uh, that's the correct spirit to be in. As I read the last previous scripture, the place where the place of evil is sown, we not turn upside down. So the correct spirit is us. We wish for this place to be destroyed so that the good can come. Amen. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Looking for and hasting into the coming day of the hour, where the heavens being on fire shall pass away, and the elements shall not be firm in the It says, nevertheless, this is what we want. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the heavens and new earth will dwell with righteousness. Wherefore, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So we want to be ready. For, we want to be uh, ready for the reward. Well, we want to be ready for the reward. And the scriptures say, all that have, you know how it goes, but growth and preference, all that have that, that mindset, that wish, and we purify ourselves, right? We make ourselves ready to the, for, uh, for the Heavenly Father. Uh, let me see what I'm going to get here to the Spirit. So as I was reading Psalm uh, chapter 2, Baruch chapter 4 and 32 says, these are the other nations, they want to keep us up. Uh, see, once we come back to understanding what we're supposed to do as a people, then the Heavenly Father can bring these prophecies down and take down the evil of this world, Amen. take down Thank the evil of this world, Jesus. starting with Esau says, Amen. it says, for as he was judged at thy room, and his life on thy throne, so shall he see. So, so shall she be free for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of that great multitude. And that's talking about America. And her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her with everlasting to endure. And she shall be inhabited of, of devils for a great time. And this, now this is speaking about us. This is, O Jerusalem, look about thee for the east. And behold the joy that cometh unto thee from your house. We're about to get this Amen. blessing. Thank We're about to Jesus. get a major blessing. It says, Thank you, Jesus. It says, Lo, thy sons come. Whom thou sayest the way that they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the glory of God. We are ready, so Jesus. Yay! Thank you. Amen. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. And this is how we we're are ready. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Absolutely. That's that's us. That's us uh, rejoicing. Let me see if I can find uh, another scripture here that correlates with what I'm speaking on. While you're about to see how here.
glorious. Inside of the knee. Thank you, Jesus. I will put the Amen. law Thank you, Jesus. in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. Say the other one, I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Amen. That's Thank beautiful. You, Jesus. Hey, that's beautiful. To you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then just go oh, open your mouth up. Let me see what we got. Hey, but yeah, how about you? He's beautiful, man. Amen. Hey, Hallelujah. Thank mercy. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Check for this your out. Mercy, your grace. Look, look, Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So now, and we brought to us again. Check this out. This is how merciful the Heavenly Father is. Amen. It says, it says, it says Jeremiah chapter 50 and 20 says, In those days, and, and that's what you know what that's talking about? In those days, these times, any day now. Like, those days means this time now. Yeah. It says, In those Amen. days, you, and in that time, save the out of one, save the Lord. This is what it means, I don't want the Lord said, the iniquity of Israel, but that's what we want. We want to be cleansed from, from our sins. Shall be shall be sought for, and there shall be none. And the sins of Judah, they shall not be found. For I will promise you, who I reserve. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, we're about to get uh, uh, the Heavenly Father, the mighty hand, Amen. is going to pull us out of this wicked ass captivity. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 9. Second Ezra chapter 9. Okay, this is Second Ezra chapter 9. This is this is us. If we was to dwell on this place because of, uh, because of the rulership, because of the council of the wicked, because of the philosophy of America, this is what's going on with our people. Uh, if we don't have the heavenly Father stand up for us, uh, uh, second Ezra chapter fifteen and eight says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit." Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they give me exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous will be cried unto me, and the souls, it says, it says, and the righteous will be cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually, continually, it says, and therefore thus saith the Adawan, I will surely avenge him and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Y'all about to have have mercy on us. Behold, my people is led as a flock to a slaughter. I will not suffer them now to go in the land of Egypt, which is for her. You come and suffer for me in, in this wicked uh, uh, estate. Verse 11 says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and I will destroy the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of them shall be seen with the plague of punishment that God shall bring upon us. How about you try to be great, be great to bring a, a, a lot of torment uh, to the world, uh, two thirds of our people, right? That's what he's doing right now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And to the, and to the nations uh, that rule over us in wickedness. He's bringing that torment uh, upon Thank them you, as Jesus. well. Jesus, Jesus, take care of us. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he's absolutely. Hey, Amen. Jesus, yeah. take care of us. All we keep being obedient and we believe and we do what, the, what Jesus wants us to do. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the key. Just lost that Jesus' commandments. Yes, they have that faith. Yes, with yes. faith. Woo, with Amen. faith. With Amen. faith. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Why do y'all about to Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Zephaniah chapter 1 and 14 says, The great day of the Ottawa is near and is near and hasten greatly. Even the even the voice of the day of the Ottawa, the mighty man shall cry bitterly that this day is of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wastes and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and the alarm against the fenced cities, against the high ones, and I will bring distress upon them, and they shall walk like the blind men. Because they have sinned against the Ottawan, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dung, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. In those days, the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by fire with jealousy, for they shall make every speedy riddance of all them that go in the land. So all the wicked perverseness now about to our side is coming into a play time. How about to us gonna throw this down? That's what's happening now. That's what's happening right now. Nahum chapter 3 and 1 says, Woe to the bloody city. It says, It is all for the lies of robbery. They depart not. 
verse, jump in the verse 4 says, because the multitude of the wardens of the welfare of a harlot, which is America, the mission of witchcraft that sell nations to the wardens, families to the witchcraft, behold, I am against thee, saith the Adwan of hosts, and I will discover thy skirt upon thy face, and that's what Yahweh Shemashah is doing, and I will show show thee the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame and i will cast abominations filth upon thee and make the vow and i will set thee as a daisy stock and that's what's happening through the spirit and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say Nineveh is laid waste who, who will promote her when shall i see the comfort, uh, for thee and that's what that's why i told you about called the china the uh china russia india uh they're, they're, they're already done doing away with the dollar. They're milking their own currency. So this is going into like how uh, how this this America and those that dwell in there and that spirit, Yahweh is going to uh, is, is going to render judgment. And the spirit, the spirit uh, of Esau, the so-called white man, the spirit of our people, as they took in that spirit, this is the spirit of America. This is a saying, oh, this is not going to happen. The Heavenly Father will not do it. Uh, we're, nothing's ever going to happen. So that's the spirit. But he's going to, he's, he's the scripture say, I will lay, I will make the arrogancy of the proud to cease. But uh, let me grab this one. It says, as I, uh, Zephaniah chapter 1. So like Zephaniah chapter 1 and 12 says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, that say in their heart, the Ottoman will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore, the good shall not Oh, that's what these people think. That's what these people say in their heart. But look, I gotta go. Deep. All right, but go do your thing. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hey, but you see, uh, hey, you see how Yahweh Hashem is moving, and it's a beautiful sight to behold. And that, hey, <clears throat> that guy right there, hey, you know, the Lord's will that you know, hey, Yahweh Hashem could show, uh, could show him mercy. You know, because he was out here helping me, okay, and he and and he was agreeing with what I was saying. So, um, you know, it's up to the heavenly Father at that point. But touching back on this, Ecclesiastes, see, that's what we we warn our people, let them know what's going to happen to seek the heavenly Father ten times more. Ecclesiastes chapter eight and five: Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing, and the wise man's heart discerns both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is a time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. Hey, but uh, those that keep the uh, charge of the heavenly Father shall not feel no evil thing, and that's what we uh, we cry unto our people. Um, hey, before before check this out, and it's right here before the evil days come. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and one says, "Remember now that Creator in the days of thy youth." Well, the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, but thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay? How do you see the Creator? Let me see. We're, we're, uh, we're commanded to keep the charge of the Heavenly Father to seek Him ten times more, that we that we may be found uh, worthy to escape. You know, we want to have, we want to have, be able to have that mercy, uh, be granted that mercy from the Heavenly Father, considering the things that are coming upon the earth. Baruch chapter four and twenty eight says, for, "For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek Him ten times more, for He hath brought these plagues upon you." Upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Take a good heart of Jerusalem, for he that gave you that name will comfort thee. Okay, and this is the time that we're seeing. Miserable are they that afflict thee, and the joy, it says, Miserable are they that afflict thee, and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. This is going to be America where uh, that punishment. That suffering, that affliction was uh, uh, that we suffered as a nation, the nation of Israel. So far, Spanx, the tales of Native Americans, it says, 
for I will take away the rejoicing of her multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire, for 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 fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Lord God, Bashim al Shai. And there's something key that I wanted to grab when I was reading something up here. It says, beautiful. So Yahabashi Mashah is going to uh, gonna smite this place. That's why we uh, we sound that alarm. Um, we give that warning that our people repent. Second Ezra's. This is what this is what America is experiencing. Second Ezra's chapter 16 and 18 says. Check this out. Second Ezra's chapter 16 and 17 says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days. The beginning of great sorrows, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine, great death, and great the beginning of wars. And that's in word, that's all you're hearing right now on the news. And the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when this evil shall come? It says, Behold, famine and plagues and tribulation and anguish are set as a scourge for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness. They will be always mindful of the scourges. And these are these are the prophecies that are coming upon the earth. But we want to be we want to seek the heavenly Father uh, ten times more that that we may be found innocent Amen. and and, and be ready and be ready. Uh, for for that deliverance and how do we do it we want to spiritually depart from from this wickedness we want amen. to spiritually depart from america amen we want to depart from the spiritual wickedness of america everything and everything that it promotes revelation and this is what this is what the spirit tells us it says revelation chapter 18 and 4 says and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins, for her sins have reached into heaven, and ye how have remembered her iniquities. Okay? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And what do we need to do well, what, in these times to come? Because there's going to be an hour of temptation, because this devil, he's going to ultimately want us to um, bow down to uh, the mark of the beast, right? To, to his spiritual wickedness. He's going to put a temptation upon the earth because he knows that he has but the short time. So we have to hold on fast that what we have. Amen. We, 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 what we have is uh, the, the proper names of the Most High, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We, we have the doctrine of Hamashat Yahushai, our Lord and Savior who died for, for our Thank sins, Jesus. for the nation of Israel. We, and this, we need to hold on to those things Amen. And, 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 and not fear man, but fear the Heavenly Father, okay? And how do we do it? Well, by not by not be given into this temptation that's going to be that the whole world is going to face. Amen. Revelation chapter three and ten says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, Amen. which shall come Thank upon you, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." And this is this how we uh, this is what we need to do. It says, "Behold, I come quickly. Hold thou fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown." Amen. And because if we're saved, Hallelujah. we're going to receive. Crowns. Thank you, Jesus. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall no more go out. And I will write upon him the name of my power, and he shall. It says, and and the name of my holy city, which is New Jerusalem, and that's us. New Jerusalem represents us being refreshed in the spirit. Amen. Our Hallelujah. people, are, our people are going to be Jesus. brand new, rejuvenated. Amen. No more sin. No Amen. more corruption. Thank you, Jesus. All, all righteousness, right? Hallelujah. Which coming down out of heaven from Yahweh, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says into the churches. It says, I know thy works. Okay. That's good. Amen. So, Thank you, Jesus. But the Wadi Abba Shemel Shai, you know, the scriptures say, set, set our heart right, constantly endure. Amen. <coughs> endure and uh and work, and this uh this is also what we're commanded to do. That we may perfect our love. Of the heavenly father especially hey, in, especially in these times to come jude chapter 20 it says but ye beloved building yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost verse 20 keeping yourselves in the love of yahweh looking Thank you, Jesus. looking for the mercy of the auto one yahweh unto eternal life it says and, and okay okay and then how do we do that well by us being diligent you know i don't want to i'll be out here more 
and I, I'll talk to you and, uh, and amen. Thank and, uh, you, Jesus. And uh, I'll give you more information. Amen. Thank yes, you, Jesus. More information. And that's that's how we want to build our our perfection to the uh, to uh, to the heavenly Father and our perfection to you, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. It says, it says uh, Ephesians chapter two and nineteen says, now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fo fellow citizens with the saints of the house of with the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Uh, prophets Hamashiach Yahshua himself being being the chief cornerstone in whom all the buildings fitly framed together grow grown into a holy temple into the Ottawan in whom he also are built together for the for an admonition of God through the spirit Amen. Thank so you we're Jesus. being built up in the spirit of Hamashiach Yahshua it says right here oh and, and, and for us to remain in that love of the heavenly father it says it says Ephesians, Amen. Ephesians, Thank you, Jesus. it says Ephesians chapter four and seventeen says this I say therefore and testify of the Ottawan that ye henceforth walk not. It says not walk as other Gentiles walk in vanity of their mind. So see that's what we have to do. We the scripture's been telling us to arise ye and depart for this is not to rest because it's polluted it shall destroy you because it's polluted. It says uh, uh, it says it says the one I just read. It, it's, it's it's in the mind, you know. Uh, it's to flee. We're supposed to flee uh, from uh, from the ways uh, of America. We're supposed to flee from the ways of the wickedness. World. Amen. The world, Thank you, Jesus. the world, exactly. Jesus. That's that's what I was going. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter. It's like Ephesians chapter six. Chapter six and ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Ottawan and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be that ye may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. And that's uh, ultimately talking in these times, right? Because it's going to get harder and harder. So we don't want to be given to temptation. Ultimately, uh, like I said, uh, Revelation chapter three and ten, which Scripture says we're going to be faced with the our temptation, which is going to be that mark of the beast. They're going to ultimately want us to submit ourselves. Uh, by taking this, they're going to try to impose a digital device. Do you know that? Have you heard of, heard of the mark of the beast? No, I don't. So that's why we want to put on our faith in God and be trusting Amen. in you, that Jesus. he's going to sustain him. We sh uh, you know, uh, no fear with Jesus, no fear with our God. Yes, Amen. because uh, you, the, uh, you know, this, the spirit of fear is not of the heavenly father, but, but of Satan. That, that's a Satan. Uh, but I want to I wanna highlight something to you so that you can see it's in the scripture, what I'm talking about. Revelations chapter 13 right chapter 13 and 16 and this is this is our temptation that says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell so, say he had that mark or the name of the beast or or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that understand count the number of the beast for is the number of a man and his number is 603 score 666 so that's that's the most high saying like this uh this wickedness that it also is going to come down from the so-called white man he's going to put that on temptation that we cannot buy nor sell least we take the, it's going to be the microchip and that we have to remain, we have to remain strong. No fear with God our Lord King Jesus. We have to no remain fear. strong. Amen. We have to remain with Jesus. We have to remain strong and, and, and think or uh, think for no we want. Have faith in our great King and King Jesus. Yes. Nobody can harm us. Nobody can touch us. It, exactly. It Amen. says if God if God be with you, who can be against you? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody can touch us with our Lord, Lord King, King Jesus. Matthew. Lock, yeah. Let me go back to six. I'm just trying to find the one where it says, 
Oh, okay. So in regards to these times to come, this is the spirit that we're supposed to be in. Matthew chapter 6. And and I'll start I'll start up at 20 because uh, this this work that we're doing now, showing ourselves, uh, making a, uh, our bodies a living sacrifice, right? It's, we're building spiritual treasures. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 and 20 says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. Amen. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Our Amen. treasure is in the Heavenly Father. And our heart, and where our heart is, well, our mind is, is on the Heavenly Amen. Father. Thank Verse 22 you, says, The light of the body is the eye. If there the eye be single, halt. Thy whole body shall be full of light. Amen. But if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in dark thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? And it goes into no man can serve to. And that's why we got to be able to balance ourselves. But, but before most, for, first and foremost, keep uh, keep the charge of the Heavenly Father at the forefront. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is us. Uh, remaining in that faith, remaining in that trust of the Heavenly Father that He's going to sustain us in these times to come. Matthew chapter 6 and 25 Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not life more than meat and Amen. the body more than remnant. Thank you Jesus. It says the fowls of the air they sow not it says like the fowls of the air, they don't work they don't plant seeds, they don't grow, work, go to work it says neither do they reap that, you know they're not hard they're, they're not working right the, the bird the animals the birds of the air they're not working nor gather into barns get heavenly father feed them are you not so meaning so we, we are worth more we're, we're worth more yeah, we're worth amen. more than you, it says are, are you amen. not much better than they which which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to a statue okay so we're supposed to uh trust in the heavenly father amen and, hallelujah and all these things will be added unto us, as it says to, uh, as it says in Matthew chapter six and thirty. He says, "But seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." Amen. So we're 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 fearless before the uh, before before man. You know, we trust in the heavenly Father. Amen. And Yahweh Shimon Shai is making good on His word. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, is not a man that he should lie. Amen. The, the heavenly Father is not a man that he should lie. I should say. Matthew chapter 4. Amen. Thank you, and Jesus. 24 and 22. And that's why, that's why the Most High God, He's going to uh, speed these days up that we may be delivered. Matthew chapter 24 Amen. and Thank 22 you, says, Except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? And says, If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. And when you go into the word Christ, it's his salvation. But you see, like you see, like in other countries, that there's a Russia because because there was a guy that looked like that white Jesus. People were praising, but we cannot be deceived. We have to we have to wait. To the, the, we're gonna know when the heavenly Amen. Father Thank gives you, us Jesus. that that blessing. It says, Amen. For there for there shall arise false Mashiach's false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so in so much if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect but hey, the very elect is not going to be deceived amen thank you jesus so we cry so ultimately uh, through the spirit what i want to make mention of is that hey we give thanks to the heavenly father being that he's showing us mercy Amen. by the acts that he's pouring upon upon the earth, Amen. right? All the prophecies coming to pass, him bringing this place Babylon down to the ground. Amen. We can only be thankful for his mercy because because uh, because the destruction uh, correlates with the salvation and the justification of the remnant of the elect. Uh, for for we for we are getting ready to be redeemed out of this wicked ass place. Amen. And we're seeing all the signs and effects to the spirit. Luke chapter 21 and 25 and 25 says and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth distress of nations and, and distress of nations is all over the place because you just seen right now even in france their government's getting overthrown you're seeing all kinds of sedition amongst men wars famines and, and all over the earth but the, that's that's of the hand of the heavenly father that he may destroy this place and be able to bring that kingdom that we so so earnestly seek for amen Thank luke you, chapter jesus. 25 uh 21 and 25 says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity perplexity the seas and the waves where you're seeing right there on the east coast there's like more storms more evacuations more uh more tempest 
verse 26 man's heart fell on them for fear for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be darkened and says and they that and they shall see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and with great glory and when and when and when and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. And thanks to the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Wadi Yabba Shai. We could only we could only be thankful for the mercy of the Amen. Heavenly Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I got uh first Corinthians, like your first Corinthians chapter six. I'm gonna end this now. Because we we uh by us being out here uh, in the midst, uh, uh, in front of all the people, uh, praising the Heavenly Father, exalting in the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, making our bodies a living sacrifice. Hey, that's a, that's a good scent uh, Amen. In, in, in the nose of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Thank uh, you, Jesus. First Chronicles chapter 16 and 8, it says, Give thanks unto the Ottawan, call upon his name, make known his deed among the people. Verse 9, sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. All Amen. the great things and, you, and and destruction that he's bringing upon the earth Hallelujah. and judgments. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shah. First Chronicles chapter sixteen and ten says, "Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Adawan. Seek the seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continuously." Amen. And the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, my, I might just close out with a, a psalm, just showing the glory of the Heavenly Father that He's getting ready to pour out upon us. Amen. Beautiful. Psalms chapter 21 and 1. The king shall joy in thy strength. The Lord, as says, O Lord, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desires, and thou and hast not withholded the request of his list. Yahweh, uh, the Most High God, Yahweh, says, is going to give us our heart's desires. For thou pre preservest him with the blessing of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked the life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even the length of days forever and ever. His glory is great, and the salvation, honor, and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him excellent, exceeding glad with the confidence for the king trusted in the Lord. And through the mercy of the Most High, he shall, be, he shall not be moved. Thank you, Jesus. Thy Amen. hand shall find out all thy enemies, and thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Through the spirit, you, you goddamn Edomites, the so-called white devil, the so-called all these other nations that have committed uh, crimes against the nation of Israel, the true nation of Hamashiach, uh, the, the true uh, apple of the Most High's eye, the children of Israel. Thy hand shall find out thy enemies, and thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Verse 9, thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thy anger. The Ottawan shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seeds from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee, and they imagined a mischief device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thy arrows upon the strings against the face of them. And and says, but thou exalted the Ottawan in his own strength, so will he, so will he sing and praise thy power. Hey, Thawadi Al Bashim Al Shai for uh, for giving us the spirit to come out here and prophesy against this wicked place and to praise uh, praise the name of the Heavenly Father and and and, and to exhort the uh, to exhort the brethren that they may continue in the faith. Hey, so with that I want to say Thawadi Al Bashim Al Shai, thanks to the Heavenly Father, giving all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Kala Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakodosh. I want to give double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone, who taught us the truth and who will. And I want to send a humble citation to the hopeful elect, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.